kinging it. Rule your own world in London. With the Queen. Vlog episode two. Morning. Welcome to vlog episode two. We had a real late night last night. We didn't get into one, so uh, we're a bit rough today. But we've had some cookies for breakfast. Amy's feeling a bit rough from the chew. How are you doing? I just like feel like Travel Tracy has punched me in the face. <laughs> like I feel like a zombie, but now I've had a cookie. It's so fine. For those of you who don't know who Travel Sick Tracy is, she's Amy's alter ego that appears whenever she gets travel sick. She's a <laughs> so it's raining today, so we've decided that we're going to go indoors to the Natural History Museum. So it's like dinosaur skeletons and all kinds of stuff. I can't yes. wait. I cannot wait. You didn't get me mid-drift in that, did you? <laughs> Good start. There's no dinosaur gallery. Bloody hell. They're redoing it. Okay, we got, we got one dinosaur. How awesome is that? So they are they are real then? Well, he's not breathing like, but they dug him up, yeah. That's, that's incredible. What do you think about that? It's mental. I wish they were alive now though. Really? Yeah. We wouldn't have much chance. No, I reckon we could be BFFs, like we could train them. You reckon? Yeah. They'd be the dog of the future. The dog of the future? It's a bit big to go in your house though, isn't it? And she didn't even want to come here. No, you just said like museum and I was a bit like... Uh... Human evolution. Which one do I look like? Uh, you look like this one. Uncanny. But he doesn't wear MAC makeup, does he? Same shape dead as you. <laughs> ah, that's what we used to look like. I don't know what you mean. What do you mean now? That's, that's like early human before we evolved into what we are now. Why is his head so big? Don't know. He looks like Shrek. Just a little bit. This is probably a bad idea coming here with Amy. Amy's literally the quiz master. She's got a question about everything. So I'm trying to explain evolution to Amy in five minutes and I don't really know that much about evolution but Amy just can't grasp the fact that this is what humans used to look like. I just must have gone to a really shit school or something because what do Christians think about this? Christians believe that God made Matt so Christians... So no, this is real to them? Yeah. That is not a woman. <laughs> this is what a women used to look like. This is what you used to look like, Amy. Would you still have fancied me? Definitely not. You fancied me. <laughs> this is what kids used to look like. Now we need to find a guy. I've got too many questions right now. Who is she? <laughs> My life has been a lie. I, I literally, I can't believe what I just learned. I'm 27. <laughs> I'm 26. This is what men used to look like in my dressing. How do they know that? Looks a bit more decent, doesn't he? Though he's got his hair and his beard. Look at the size of this thing. Ground sloth. Ground sloth. Is that true? Look at the size of his hips, man. Holy shit! What would you do if that was walking towards you and it was alive? <laughs> now we're going into one of Craig's favourite places. Creepy crawlies. What do you think about creepy crawlies? I don't even like creepy crawlies. Yeah, that's what I mean. I'm being sarcastic, man. Would I you hate not... them. Look at this guy straight away. Would my you, worst fear. Would you rather hold a tarantula or have me die? Well, that's obvious. Yeah, you coughing, son. <laughs> Looks, looks like you when you're drunk. <laughs> Talking about amphibians, someone sent us this video the other day and said it was like Amy's walk. Check it out. 
nailed it. And remember, rule your own world. When we were living in New Zealand, everyone was worried about volcanoes. Look at this, we we're literally living on the edge of one of the plates. Two of the plates. So this is New Zealand, and we were living here. And there was a huge, huge, huge earthquake that was overdue by like a hundred years. So hopefully it doesn't happen soon. Can you smell that? No. It smells like an earthquake. So all that walking around is pretty tiring, so we've sucked some food in. What's it called? Wasabi. A place called Wasabi. Okay, so we've eaten, now we're ready to go. So we come to the Science Museum. Craig wants to come, he's a bit of a geek. So we're meeting our friends Luke, Boz and Alex when they finish work. And we're gonna watch the new Star Wars. Because we're massive Star Wars fans, we've seen all the films, and I know exactly what's going on. This isn't true, we've seen the first movie. So we're you gonna... fell asleep in the first movie. That's so... true. I want to get into Star Wars, but I have no idea what's going on. So we're going to have to find like a summary video before we go and watch the new one, because otherwise we'll be like... There's a Jedi, and the man in black. Look at your father. What are you doing? Darth Vader. I'm going to sort of bath a ladder out so it's fine. Huh? Thank you. Museum's closing. Shit, man. Got here the wrong time. Don't come at quarter past five. Okay, so we got kicked out of the Science Museum because it closed. But now we've met Luca Balls, so we're going to have some food before we watch Star Wars. Hi lads! Hi, I'm Luke. <laughs> Introduce yourselves. Go. Oh, what do I say? I'm Luke. I'm Luke. Adam Boz. We're together. We, we are. are. <laughs> Loz. Loz. Yay. How many times have you seen Star Wars, the new one? I've never seen it before. No, lies. This will be your fifth. This will be my fifth time seeing it, which is a little bit excessive. <laughs> I think. This is my fourth, so it's not too bad. Okay, so I lied earlier, we haven't actually seen Star Wars. So we're going to watch a quick rundown on YouTube in two minutes. Star Wars in two minutes. Oh, this might go too fast for me. Do you know what? You disgust me. <laughs> Both of you. I'm literally going to keep you out of the house. Yeah. I'm so disappointed in you. I genuinely think you're the only two people in the world that I haven't seen Star Wars. So apparently this is the best place where you can watch Star Wars. Because it's an, an actual film instead of digital. Yeah. So it's all grainy and stuff. We're going to the IMAX and hopefully we can sit at the back so I don't get to have I can. Dummy version of Star Wars. Yeah. Four, five, and six. Avoid. There's a princess called Leia. Something Obi Wan didn't tell you. Because. Oh, what is it? What? No. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, he told me he killed my father. Yeah. And he's like, no, I am the father. No, like, no, it's not true. No, 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 it can't be true. Oh my god! Oh, 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 oh. I'm not with that. <laughs> you look like a monkey. <laughs> Cinema is in the science museum. Super cool. This is the coolest screen I've ever seen. Look how big this is. Amy's got a Star Wars donor. I said the guy did okay. <laughs> now it's time to ignite your lightsabers, feel the force, and get ready for Star Wars: The Force Awakens. <laughs> just come out 
Phil was absolutely banging. Yeah, 10 out of 10. Really good. Yeah, had a coffee before we went in, and I probably shouldn't have because it's very action packed, and I thought it was going to have a heart attack. But it was great. It was awesome. Because we've seen it in the big screen. I'd give it a 9 out of 10. 9. Nine and a half. I was enthralled. Amy didn't even get travel sick either. Yes, boys. <laughs> we just seen showers, and you know. Fucking <laughs> brilliant. Dunzo. King of it. Rule your own world. world.